Hello everybody, I am Shekels, and welcome back to Let's Play Alien Shooter 2 Reloaded. And holy f fuck what a start. This is... This is going to spell trouble, isn't it? I can already sense the trouble that is going to be... That is going to be caused here. Oh, holy f fuck. I'm regretting not upgrading my shotgun now. I really am regretting not upgrading my shotgun. Because if I get surrounded here... Oh, bollocks, one guy is down already. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And I haven't even started this recording. I haven't even started! For fuck's sake! Ah, fuck this. That was a great start, wasn't it? I completely forgot about that. Alright, we're gonna have to do something a little bit different then. Well... That was what you call an epic fail. Okay, we're gonna have to do something else then. Hmm. Alright, I think I know what gun I'm gonna have to get. It's expensive, but it'll do the job. Glad you're yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, just give me me rewards. And what's this gonna be this time? Uh, bollocks, it's gonna slow me down. Oh, well, I'll wear it anyway. Doesn't slow me down that much. Okay, we're gonna have to change our tactics here. I think I'm gonna have to bring this beast out. Right, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of the rocket launcher ammo. I'm gonna get rid of the grenade launcher ammo. Uh, rid of flamethrower ammo. Right, I'm gonna have to bring this beast out, I think. The iron can is one of the latest weapons in the instrument. It's a strong beam that can pierce the thickest of armor. I can't remember how quick it is though. It's pretty slow, I think. I don't think that shotgun's gonna be enough. Alright, I'm bringing out this. I don't really want to, because it's bloody expensive. But, I don't even need that much ammo, actually. Uh, sell some of that as well. So I'm finding more. Right, this weapon should do it. Bloody hope so. I seem to remember having to get this weapon before. Ah, yes. Now we're sucking diesel. This just rips through through the enemies, it really does uh, help keep these guys alive a bit longer which means that my ass will be covered for a bit longer than it was last time, that's for sure Gangway, come through, look out Sorry, I'm, I'm normally quiet here, aren't I? One has to think for a moment, whilst I try and find a way to cover my ass. For when them guys fall. Get into this room, get behind where they're coming from. It'll be a little bit easier for me to maneuver. Oh shit, here they come. Uh, well, there's an extra life. If I can get anywhere near it, it would be very nice if I could. And I have. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Well, thanks very much for the shotgun that I already have. It's very much appreciated. Alright, this gun's doing the job now, isn't it? I love the boom over. Anybody around? 
Those droids are handy to have around, because they'll let you know when there's an enemy nearby. Don't know what weapon I just got there. Okay. Ah, little shitty gun. Shitty machine gun. Alright. Okay, I think we're on the clear now, to be honest with you. I think we can be a little bit more at ease. I completely and utterly forgot about that absolute four way bloody ambush that I've been vulgar about. Actually, by now, people will be probably wondering why I'm not being vulgar about it, but oh well. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. There's actually a lot of guys here. But as I was saying at, at the end of the last episode where I was saying that I had loads, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of let's plays to do. Um, there's also a lot of games that I don't currently own that I want to do as well. Um, I really want to get sort of... Uh, I want to get into some other games that I never really done let's plays of before. Um, I want to do more... Uh, Point and take adventures. Um, I've spoken about this before, you know, I just can't remember how long ago it was. But um, I do want to get do more point and take adventures because when I was a kid, they were kind of really at their peak with point and take adventures. But I was so young, I was only, you know, beginning to, to learn to read. I didn't understand a lot of things in them. And I really, I'd like to go back and, and play. Um, quite a few of them as well. Um, there's a couple I have, I've police quests and which I've, I've never played. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'd like to do some of them. I'd, I'd also like to get into Telltale Games um, series as well because they don't, that's the company that did um, the Walking Dead series, the good Walking Dead series. There was another one called uh, Dead. Uh, I think it's called Walking Dead, Dead Survival or some, something like that, um, which was in first person action orientated, I think, if I remember correctly, which was not well received at all, whereas Telltale Games take more of a, a sort of a moral approach to, to things, where it's basically a story, you don't really do an awful lot of interaction in their games. Uh, it it, it kind of goes down to your your choices and the consequences of your choices affects the actual game's outcome. Um, I'd like to get more into their games as well, um, like their season one of, of The Walking Dead. Um, I'd like to do, you know, I'd, I'd like to do uh, The Wolf Among Us as well. That looks fucking awesome. Um, it's The Wolf Among Us is based on. Um, on a, a book, I think, or a comic. Um, it, it's based around the same universe, same characters, same things like that. Um, uh, it, it looks uh, absolutely awesome. They've, they've only got the first three episodes out so far, so I, I'd wait until all, all of them have been released because I'm not one of these that I like to do half a Let's Play. I know I've done that with a few games now but I'm, I'm working on fixing that um, but there's a few you know I, I wouldn't like to sort of you know do chapters one to three and then have to stop and wait for chapter four and then wait for chapter five um, I would not like to do that at all that is just ooh, turret time that's just not my my style of, of doing a let's play at all I, I'd much rather um, do it all together, all in one. So I'm going to wait for that. One. But the Wolf Among Us looks absolutely amazing. Um, I've, I've seen like the trailers to it on, on Steam, and things like that. Um, I know by the time I have this uploaded, you're probably going to be wondering why I haven't done the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing two yet. Because the second one, at the time of recording this, it's going to be released next week. And to be honest with you, I 
I liked the first one to a point. But when I say that, there was also an awful lot wrong with it. Um, I, I didn't like the development of Van Hout, of the Incredible Adventures of Van Housing. I didn't like the character development. I didn't like the skills. I didn't... I didn't like how little customization there is to your to your character. Um, I felt that like with 30 levels, with your character's level limit being 30, it was just limiting you too much and I can't see that changing for the next one. If they changed that now, I would, I would play it. But if it's only going to be 30 levels, I'm going to be highly disappointed because that was one of my main disappointments of it. Um, And even when you finish it, you can, when you replay it through again, the difficulty is completely and utterly ramped up to a ridiculous proportion, no matter what actual difficulty you played on the first time around. Um, you, there's just, there was little else to do apart, once you finished, apart from go from scenario and just repeat them over and over again. Um, it was uh, extremely disappointing for me in many ways. I did enjoy it, but I felt that they could have done a fucking hell of a lot more than they did with it. Like, even the fucking weapon upgrade system and all that shit with the essences, even that was pretty fucking poor. Um, I didn't like the essence system at all. It was, um... It was pretty, pretty bleak, to be honest with you. It wasn't. It didn't leave much to the imagination. Um, it, it just felt very bland. Now, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a few more let's plays of Van Helsing, such as um, I am going to basically, I'm gonna do a let's play of each of the classes. I've done one of of a ranged class. So I'm going to do one of the melee class, I'm going to do one of the of the mage, I'm going to do one of the arcane mechanic as well. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of just waiting for the moment because um, right now I'm kind of I'm finishing up let's plays that I didn't previously finish up and I'm trying to get a couple of shorter games done so that I don't have to reinstall them on my computer. Because um, I am going to be wiping this machine completely clean and I'm putting a fresh install of, of Windows 7 on. So, uh, yeah, there's. I'm still going to do more. And it's only after I've done all the classes am I actually going to do my full review of Van Helsing because I feel that to do a fully accurate review of Van Helsing, I'd have to play as each of the classes first, before I could actually turn around and say, give a full verdict of the game. I don't think, the thing with, with the likes of um, action RPG is, is that uh, most of them, you, it's very hard to do a full on review unless you've played at least to a certain extent with each class. Like It's very hard for me to do a review of Diablo, of say Diablo 2, without playing at least to a certain degree um, all the classes, all the characters to some degree, because the game changes with each with each character and each class. So I'd I'd have to sort of you know I'd have to go about about it that way. So that's why there hasn't been a review for Van Helsing, just in case anybody was wondering. But, you know, it's it's just the way I am, it's the way that I see games. I don't like to review games unfairly in, in any shape or form. Um, when it comes to Malevolence, I, I've been kind of saying I'll do, I'll do a review for it, I'll do a review for it. And I kind of want, I kind of want to wait because I want to wait for version 1.0. Um, because it's then that it will need the reviews more than ever. 
Uh, it's, it's then that I kind of want to do it. And I've been kind of letting my let's plays and, and I've been sort of stating my opinion of Malevolence as I've gone along in my let's plays. Um, and I've been kind of using that as my, my review for now. But I will be reviewing it properly once it reaches version 1 point all. But anyone that's watched my, my Permadeath Adventures, uh, particularly um, Season 3, uh, you'll know exactly uh, my, my re what my review would be like of, of Malevolence because I, I highly speak of Malevolence was, was playing and what I love about it. Um, I, I often have, so, you know, it, it's not kind of any secret as to what my review would be like. Um, whilst with Van Helsing, I'm, I'm keeping that very, very quiet as, as to what I really think of it, because, as I said, I haven't played as all the characters, so I wouldn't be able to give a full, actual review, because it wouldn't be fair. Uh, for me to do that, like I'd, I'd be technically reviewing you know, core games Van Helsing very unfairly unless I experienced all all the characters and, and all the DLC, it'd be a little bit, a little bit cruel in a sense that's, that's, that's my opinion, I am going to get back to it though, I am going to do the other classes probably after I get this machine wiped um, so that means like you know, once I've finished up any lingering uh, let's plays that I've done bits of or haven't finished, and, uh, that includes Maximus 15 too, which I've nearly finished now. I've, I've taken another break from it for a while because it gets very monotonous. Um, as any of you would know that have seen my Maximus 15 let's play, it's on my um, it's on my other channel that was under my actual real name. But well, if you look in the playlist, um, the Shepels, on my Shepels channel, if you look in playlists, I've added all my videos from my original channel into there as well, so you can view them all from there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's been good. And, you know, I, I've still got a lot more videos to do when it comes to malevolence, you know, I've still got a few more seasons left in me and you know, guides and things like that, you know, I'm, I'm not short on, on stuff for malevolence at all at all. You might wonder how much longer I'm gonna keep going with malevolence and sometimes I wonder that myself, but I don't think I'm gonna stop anytime soon, that's for sure. Right, let's have a look. This is just a fucking onslaught, me and a bloody jeep. This is vengeance for, for fucking absolutely ganking me four ways in four directions earlier on. This is just vengeance, this is. Yeah, get it. Vengeance, alien shooter, vengeance. Okay, that, that was a poor joke, but never mind. But, uh, yeah. I love it. I've always really enjoyed the alien shooters, even more so than the zombie shooters. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not even going to include zombie shooter too because it's a, just a completely different league of game altogether. Okay, we'll just put them. Storage sector O five two. Access uh, Really. I'm getting a deja vu right now. There was a level very like this in the first time, I'm sure. It was almost copy paste. I've only just copped onto it now. Right. Access Second level access, access key required. required. This door leads to the authorization computer. Find the second level access key. Yes, sir. I think is this way. And I'm going on foot. Anybody home? Talk as much. There's always someone at home. 
I, I do wish that people made more more games like these though. These games are fucking awesome. I, I love these games. I, I think they're really good. There's another game that I really want to try out. It's on GOG as well. And it kind of reminds me of this. But I don't know, like, you know as to how in-depth it is. Um, like, no, I don't know whether there's a whole, you know, level up system and a whole, you know, shopping and RPG elements and that. I don't know if there's, there's all that in it. And I think it's called Shadow... I think it's called Shadowgrounds. I think it's what it's called. There's two of them. And there's the first one, which is the sequel. And it, it looks very like this, but in a more 3D sense than, than this is. This is kind of like what you'd, you'd almost call... Well, I suppose, yeah, you would call this top-down 3D. Um, I, I was going to say isometric, but isometric 2.5, it's, it's not really 2.5 3D, these are technically 3D, um, these are technically 3D enemies and models, but um, yeah, it, it, it's got a full on 3D camera if I remember correctly when I, when I was looking at it, and uh, it looks quite good. But it'll be a while now before I go looking into that because you know I've, I've done I've done zombie shooter I've done zombie shooter almost done zombie shooter too as I said I'm I'm doing this first to get back to the door we'll cover you to um get to get my uh, my opinions correct on on whether I'm right about the difficulty being ramped up too much in zombie shooter too. Um, where did that one single enemy come from? Uh, oh, never mind. I think that answers my question. That answers my question quite a lot, actually. Brum brum. Brum brum. Um, so yeah, look, I've technically done. I've done ninety-nine percent of Zombie Shirt Two. I doing this now, so I think after this I, I am going to take a break from from the genre because ah, bollocks, I thought I'd be able to get in there but obviously I can't get in there until after I've done this but um, I am going to be taking a break from this kind of game for a bit because you know, I, I don't like to play the same genre over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again um, like a lot of Let's Players, they kind of just stick to what they know I see you're still holding up alright. Yeah, I'm grand. Thanks for asking. Get to that computer. We'll keep things under control here. I've already done that for you, but still. Um I like you know, a lot of let's players they kind of we stick have access with one to the host genre. computer. Get back over here. Um a lot of them kind of stick to the horror genre. Um So much for being able to handle shit. But, um, yeah. Thanks for letting me out, by the way. It took her. My God, it just... It came, it grabbed her and disappeared. I couldn't do anything. Excellent, you've done it. Get back to base. And there's Baker, who doesn't give a fucking shit about it at all. I'm gonna walk just in case, but um, a lot of Let's Players kind of stick to to one specific genre 99% of the time, and it's usually horror that they stick to. Um, but some of them don't. There's there's other really good uh, Let's Players that don't stick to to that kind of way about. Um, there's two in particular that I I really like because they kind of think the same way I do. And um, one is the extremely popular Cryotic, and he does lots of different. He does lots of different games. He does a lot of um, of the likes of um, The Wolf Among Us, The Walking Dead. He does um, some rather unusual games too. He's done. Um, 
Oh, what's it called? Oh, it's called uh, Vampire the Masquerade. He's done that as well. He's um, he's done a lot of different games, and he hasn't just stuck to to one particular genre. Um, another one is uh, one guy, and he's not very well known actually. He's kind of he deserves more credit than he has. I'll talk more about that in a second. Okay. Uh oh, problem. Someone just tried to activate the base's self-destruct routine. Oh, great. Let's see. Yep, we have access to that sector. Hurry, move your ass. What kind of general turns around and goes, Uh oh, problem. But, um... Yeah, I have to give the cooling block to Nicholas. You're a genius! Quick, it's the core component of our FRZ-5 cannon, which can instantly freeze any living matter. Good. That's what I like to hear. Yes, that does it. Here, you take it. You can put it to far better use than I can. Zap a few of those unholy terrors for me. I'll do that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sell that. I think I'm gonna sell this now. Uh, I don't really feel a need for it anymore. Um, is that a shotgun? Jackhammer. Nice. I love the jackhammer shotguns. I think I might buy that actually. That'll do some damage. Yeah, now we've got a shotgun. That's worth a pretty penny too. But I'm not gonna sell it yet. Okay. I'm going to leave it here for this part guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And I'll I'll continue that discussion that I got put short about some really good YouTubers in the next part as well. So so thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you and have fun.